I know you want to know. I know you want to know how to live beyond needing the acceptance and approval of other people. And if you if you're not going to admit that you want to know internally, you want to know a lot of the conversations that you have between you and the legion of voices inside of you is about how well you're living up to the expectations of other people, how well other people are receiving what it is that you're presenting. And my question to you is, when you're offered real life, when you're offered peace, freedom, abundance, happiness, joy, why settle for being a compulsive performer for ungrateful audiences that ain't even paying attention to your performance because they're putting on their own show? It's crazy because when I say it, it's going to sound so simple that it's not satisfying to your ego, which looks for complicated um, explanations so that it can use it as an excuse for why it's not done yet. It's so simple that it's hard to accept because when you accept it, you have to also simultaneously accept the fact that you have failed to apply such a simple principle to your life, but once you understand that accepting those moments of revealed blind spots is actually the first step to living beyond those blind spots and becoming deeper in awareness. Like there's no such thing as growing deeper in awareness and not seeing more and more of your blind spots. It comes with the territory. You actually begin to enjoy it because, again, you understand that that's step one to liberation. That's step one to freedom. I first got to I first have to see it. I have to understand that I've tied myself to something. There's something that I'm identified with. There's something that I'm attached to. And if I don't shake this attachment, if I don't shake this identification, when this thing is shaken, I will fall. It's it's just that simple. No deeper than that. I have to see it, accept it, embrace that that's the truth of my previous presentation, and then align with the truth of myself. And that's the key to everything. I can't align with the truth of myself without knowledge of the truth of myself. If there was a question to ask out of these three things, which is a fool? Adults, children, or pets? The correct answer to the question, if one is being accurate and factual, wouldn't be pets, wouldn't be children. It would be adults because adults are the only one out of those three options that are constantly asking of things what they don't have the capacity to deliver. And what's funny is adults are the group of people that will tell you that they know what the capacity of a child is. They also know what the capacity of a pet is, but yet and still it is an adult that constantly finds himself or herself irritated with the fact that the child can't produce the level of maturity that they're not even operating from or that the pet isn't as responsible as a human being would be when left at the house unattended. A child suffers from natural ignorance. Most adults have been informed as to most adults have been informed as to what is right and what is wrong through some form of dogma, through some religious structure or some social network that has given them a definition of what is right and what is wrong. And as we see time and time again, it's not the ignorance of the child or the inactivity of an innate object that causes chaos in our world but rather the double-minded presentation of the ego-driven individual who has no idea of who he really is or who she really is. I can't.